finally got something from Bushy guys. Hi everyone, welcome back to Nexus Core. Today is a really special video because we got our first collaboration with Bushy Road. Bushy Road had reached out to me as well as other YouTubers within the Vanguard community. Different Fights, Solemn Vanguard, TIE Fighter Vanguard, you guys, you guys already know these guys. We were all invited to share a premium deck list that we would then put onto their e-newsletter which you guys can sign up for and check out. So we were invited to create our premium deck list, incorporating some of the cards that were coming back in Revival Selection. And as you know, I'm a Gold Paladin main. And as a Gold Paladin main, I submitted a premium list for what I would be basically building as a premium deck, including some of the cards that were coming back in Revival Booster. My deck list, along with the deck lists of all the other YouTubers, got featured in Bushy Road's September issue of the newsletter. So on top of that, being able to collab with Bushy, which was really cool, by the way, they were kind enough to send a box a revival selection. What's cool about the revival selection coming out is that a lot of the cards that you would need to build premium decks are from outdated booster sets. I think it's really cool that there are a lot of cards in the set that people can get their, get a box and just pick up some really old cards that they would need to make modern day premium decks. So I think this was a really cool idea, but that's not all, ladies and gentlemen. We also have a sponsor for today's video. I've already talked about Triple Sleeve TCG in the past. Triple Sleeve TCG is a one-stop shop where you can pick up your bundles or play sets like I've already talked about before in the past, making it easier to finish up your decks for upcoming booster sets. You can also pick up singles from their vendor site on tcgplayer.com. And you can also pick up Vanguard products from them as well, such as sleeves. So it's a place where you can go to pick up whatever you'll be needing to update your deck and also kind of make it look cool and make it look nice. Triple Sleeve TCG was nice enough to be able to send two boxes of Revival Selection. So we had a lot of old cards that we're about to be busting open. So thanks again to Triple Sleeve TCG for sending over these boxes. I've had a really great time working with them and I really think you guys should check out their website. And without further ado, Let's open up some boxes. Since um, every box of Revival Collection is exactly the same, I'd say I'd spare you guys the sake of going through three boxes of exactly the same cards. So I'm gonna show you what one box gets you so you guys can get an idea what Revival Collection is. I know Bushiro did release like a full list of what every card is, but I figured it doesn't hurt to like, you know, kind of show off like the, the cards for those who um, weren't able to see that listing at the time. So let's go ahead and pop it open. Oh no, we got Zoa in this one. That's too bad. Um, I know the really uh, good Xeroth Dragon everyone's wanting to get uh, this box is Ultima. Every uh, box topper comes with a promo of a Xeroth Dragon, which is really cool. So yeah, it should make it easier for these to show up in play, but uh, you know, the market makes it harder for some people. So that's the only thing. Put that for the side. And go ahead and pull this out. So each box comes with 24 packs. A little box thing got stuck in the middle over there instead of being right on top, that's funny. So it comes with little advertisements. So there's 24 packs for 24 clans. So each pack is for a clan. So if you buy four boxes, you're essentially getting full play sets of everything that comes in the set. So it's good to know. The first pack, let's see what clan we get. And our first clan is Link Joker. We'll go through these one at a time. So first card is Stand Trigger. Shockwave Star Dysprosium. So Dysprosium is kind of blast, put this in your soul. Uh, during your opponent's end phase, if a locked card is unlocked, you relock it. Freeze Ray Dragon. Freeze Ray was really dominant back in the uh, G era meta because uh, a striding helped it make it better. Opponent's rear is locked due to card effect. Uh, this gets 3k. And then when a card is put in your damage zone, you choose one of your opponent's rear guards and you lock it. So every time this takes damage, you lock a card and it gets power. Ooh, Chaos Breaker. Uh, Chaos Breaker, Dragon, Crisis. When you stride, when you ride this or when you stride, you count plus one. Uh, choose one of your opponent's lock rear guards and lock it. When your opponent's lock card is unlocked, uh, if something hasn't been retired yet, you can retire it, draw a card. Uh, this is the heal trigger, but uh, G Guardian version. Uh, kind of blast, choose a face down G Guard, turn face up. When it's placed on guard, choose three of your rear guards and lock them, and your opponent chooses one of their locked 
uh, back row cards for each card that you locked and they lock them as well. Uh, glue Ball Dragon. Glue Ball is really good. Uh, once per turn you soul blast one, you pick a copy of Glue Ball, turn it face up. You have a Harvest Star Vader. Your opponent chooses a rear guard for each face up card in your G zone, they lock it. And your Fermo gets 3k for each locked card. The GB3, so it's like a Nebula Lord Dragon. Chaos Breaker Deluge. Deluge skill, soul blast one. Choose a face down card from your G zone, turn face up. Discard a card if you have a heart with chaos. Your opponent chooses two cards and calls them as locked, and then they choose a locked card if they have four or less damage and puts it in their damage face down, so it deals them in damage. Really, really, really good card. Cosmar Wreath, the G guard. Count plus ones, place on guard circle, pay the cost. Your opponent chooses a rear guard, puts it in their back row, and locks it. And if they do, this gets 5k shield. This is really good. You know, just locking cards during your opponent's turn is nice. Well, they get to choose, but still, bring your opponent lock cards. So that's it for the Link Joker set. On to the next card. Get, ooh, gold paladin, let's go. All right, so we got catch gold back in that beautiful foiling love that. This looks so good. I can't wait to add it in. We got Gurgit back, back in its triple R foiling. They chose the wrong Gurgit art, in my opinion. I liked the trial deck one, but uh, this one's cool too. New card. So this is a card that is, this is its first printing in English. This is Prominence Glare of the Azure Flames. So it's not Bluish Flames searchable, and they kind of did my boy Prominence Glare kind of dirty, but whatever. It does have glory skill though. It's uh, when it's placed, you lay the top four cards of your deck, choose a card, call it, let's go to bottom. When this attacks, come us one, discard a card from your hand, and uh, you perform based on the number of cards you call. Three or more, it gets 15k in a crit. Four or more, your opponent cannot call Sentinels. So that's really cool because it's like Raven Hair Dizzle, but uh, easier. Um, except you have to discard a card. That's the only uh, drawback for the card. But I mean, it's on place. Call a card, so maybe that'll uh, kind of warrant it. It's a, it's a, it's a decent one of. Uh, We'll see. Um, Radiant Sword Gurgit. Sunrise, Ray, Radiant Sword Gurgit skill. GB2, Unite, Countless One, Soul Plus 2. Uh, this gets 5k for each rear guards. Each rear guards gets 5k. So, good power card and making your board powerful. It's actually a really decent card as attack. If you know you just need a big, you need a field with just big numbers and you already got a big field. So, helps with that. Gurgit Helios. This is a really important card for premium if you want to build premium. Unite, act, unite, choose a card with the same name as this, turn it face up. This gets a drive check, so quad drive, really good. GB3, this unit gets 5k for each of your opponents, uh, or this gets 5k for each of your rear guards and your opponent cannot call grade one or greater cards. This was better when PGs were just grade ones. It's kind of iffy whatever, depending on what deck. Some deck run grade one PGs, the others run grade zero PGs. So it doesn't have that sentinel thing, but you know, Grade one specific, but it's the quad drive, which is really cool for a Gurgit. That's nice. Glorious Raining Dragon. Uh, when this attacks, you count blast one, turn a Glorious Raining face up, and then uh, you look at the top seven cards, and then you call from among the seven the cards equal to the number of face up cards in your G zone. Call them. If you call three or more, you then counter charge and soul charge. So you get your counter blast back and you get into soul. This was an amazing, amazing card when this first came out because you got your cost back and you gained soul uh, for Gurgit's uh, soul costs, which was really, really, really nice at the time when this first came out. So I love this card. Uh, it's still good for multi-attacking now and premium. So I definitely people think should run two, you know, just for the cost flip itself just so you can use it in game slay me flare <laughs> foiled oh it looks so good uh slay me flares choose a rigor and put in the bottom of your deck uh look at the top five and you call two cards at different grades to guard circle it's got a huge buff in v series since triggers and grade ones gain shield so this was immensely better in premium aside from you know bezel being really really broken yeah that was it for the gold paladin pack Aqua Force! Uh, this was a really good card from what I remember. Um, it's a wave first or second. Soul Blast 1, when it attacks a Vanguard, if you have a Vanguard with Thavis in name, you get 7k. And at the end of the battle, you draw a card and then you put this on the bottom. It was, a good, it was good for getting off those first attacks. Um, it's good that it works the second wave because I know you want to use um, other cards that are first wave specific. Like uh, the new V series card, like, oh, if this is the first battle of the turn, restand it. So it's good this is wave two. That's nice. I don't know if this will actually see as much play, but as a stand trigger, it's pretty good. Uh, ooh, that's a nice foil for Supersonic Sailor. So Supersonic Sailor just moved to soul and you counter charge. I like how they kept the same wording. Like they didn't even add the CC, the counter charge thing. They just literally just threw a foil on the original card. But that looks really nice. Title Assault, the OG. Uh, it doesn't have the one. It's literally the reprints from like when they were originally printed, like the original cards. At the end of all this attack to Vanguard, if you have an Aquaforce Vanguard, stand this. 
This gets 5k. Billy cannot be used for the rest of the turn. So yeah, I mean, obviously the this is probably a ratted just with the once per turn thing. Title assault. Can't get enough title assaults. Bavos. Uh, when you're doing it stride, um, choose one card from your hand called to rear. Choose one of your rear guards and it gets resist. And if that has the wave ability, it gets this unit can attack in the back row. So really helpful for those wave decks, simple wave cards. Rear guard, GB2, wave first or fourth. Um, Camera blast at the end of the battle with this attack, you can Camera blast one to stand. Journal, Galphilia. So this was a really gar good card for Link Joker, I remember, um, against Link Joker. Wave second or third, gets 5k. G zone, act, so last one, turn this face down. You choose a card on your circles or damage zone, you turn a face up. You could pick your Vanguard if you're deleted, which is funny, I don't know why you'd be playing delete in premium, but yeah, it's mostly for Link Joker, so you kind of flip a card face up or a soul blast, so it's really good. We got uh, Alexandros, second or third time. Yeah, wave wave two or three, Camus one, choose a face down, come with your G zone, turn face up. Then about this attack, you may pay the cost, choose two of your rear guards, and then you get 5k for each face of card in So it's like, Lambros better because uh, it gets better as time goes on. So I like I like this one a lot. We got Ice Barrier Dragon, um, wave first or fourth. Um, this gets 10k shield. This is a good one of, good one of. All right, Genesis. Okay, your wise man support. So we got Taro back. So Taro is put this uh, back in the bottom of your deck when this unit is put in a drop zone from your soul, you put it back in your deck, and you stand your rear So this is what made Wiseman really good. So you attack up Wiseman, you soul blast three, soul blast Taro, it goes back in your deck and you stand Wiseman, you just keep looping it that way. Now speaking of loops, uh, which of Orange is Valencia? Valencia skills when it's put in the drop zone from your soul, if you have a Genesis Vanger, you soul charge two. So this also helped with Wiseman. So you would soul blast this and then you get more soul, so that when you restood wise man, you attack with it again. Gelgia, put this into the soul, put this card at the bottom of your deck. You can choose one of your rear guards and you stand it. Uh, and it gets 3k, and if you have a Finn Rear Vanguard, you soul charge two, and you choose it and it gets 3k. It's other is revelation, so when you play it, look at top two cards. Uh, sorry, is it top two? No, it's top card. You put the top card of your deck, you put it on the top of your back on the top of your deck, or you soul charge it. So that's also helpful if you have a Fenrir Vanguard. Uh, Grappa, um, same thing as uh, Valencia, but grade two. So multiple copies. Ooh, I accidentally went through, I skipped Minerva there. Minerva was a weird choice for this set, in my personal opinion, because I just don't see it seeing any play. I feel like maybe Fenrir would have been a better choice. I don't know. Maybe something in the future will come on Minerva. Uh, what Minerva does is it's limit break, so when you have four damage, Camus 1, so last 3. You choose 3 Genesis cards from your hand, you discard them. At the end of the battle, this attacked. You stand this and it gets 5k. Um, and then you can't use it for the rest of the turn. So it was really good in Break Ride because you broke road into. You broke road over Angelica for the Cross Ride. You have the Cross Ride skill. If you have Galia was an Angelica on your soul, it gets 2k. So you. You cross road. I, was it really a cross ride? I don't know. It's weird. It's not really a cross ride. It's not an evolution, but still. If you have Angelica Soul, it gets 2k. Cross break ride. And you have this really big beat stick attacking. Um, but when you're in a format with striding, I don't know if this is really going to see any play though. Uh, Amaruda Afros? Afros. Afros. So it has Revelation on Vanguard Circle. So place it. Look at top card. Soul or Van or Trigger. You know what I mean. Cat Blast, turn G zone, G unit face up, and this gets 10k in a crit. And if your soul has four or less cards, you soul charge five. You draw two cards and you soul charge five. At the end of the battle of the attack, you soul blast 15, stand one of your rear guards, and until the end of the turn, your opponent cannot call sentinels. That's a really, really, really good game ending card. Um, especially if you somehow have enough soul for a wise man loop, but you are soul blasting 15, so I doubt it. Ah, more soul filtering. Goddess of the Seven Colors, Iris. So Iris is, oh, it's SP. Whoa, it's this one's SP. Nice. Wow, look at that. That's, someone's gonna want this for sure. Um, when it's placed on guard, you pick three cards in your drop zone, you put it into your soul, and then you get 5k shield. Cool, that's a, that's, that's a nice SP in that one. We got Kagero. Um, Kagero Blade Master and Premium is really funny because of stand triggers. So Inspire Yell, Inspire Yell is a good reprint. Blaze. So at the beginning of your attack step, each attack, uh, if you have more rear guards than your opponent, you are now blazing. Um, GB1. Put this on the bottom of your deck. When your Vanguard becomes blazing, you put this back in your deck, and you draw a card. You pick one of your units gets 5k and you shuffle. So it's a stand. You call it so that you have more rear guards than your opponent. You can just basically call like three of these. 
you put them back into your deck, you draw three, if you called out three, you can pick three units, get 5k, or stack 15k on one unit. You got some stands back in your deck. It's just a really good stand trigger. This is Soldier Belog. Uh, when this is placed on guard, uh, choose one of your vanguards until the end battle it gets. Then about this unit was attacked. If it did not hit during that battle, choose one of your opponent's rear guards that is rest and retire it. So this was really good for dealing with um, really problematic cards that would restand in a later game. So if you're if it attacked and you think it was gonna restand, you could kill it. This only doesn't really work a wise man because it stands during the battle, so it's not rested at the end of the battle, but Belog's an okay card. Dragonic Overlord the Cross. Uh, Legion with Overlord the End. Um, the 22 is just because the older Overlord had 11k base, but obviously since the newer one is 13, it would be a 24k base. When this unit legions, just search your deck for a card with the same name as one of your vans, so either the cross or the end. Uh, and the other skill is Counterblast 1, choose a card named the cross from your hand, discard it. Then above this attack, if it did not hit, you can discard the cross and Counterblast and your entire tuning punts regard. So the idea is the old one, if it hit, you did Overlord, Count Blast 2, Restand it, and then if it didn't hit, you'd discard the cross, and then... It was just a really, it was a really fun deck. I forgot I built this deck. It was a really fun deck. Oh, God, that Overlord deck was so fun back in there. You guys remember GVT-01 Overlord. Oh, speaking of more fun Overlord decks, Dragonic Overlord, The Destiny. So Blast 1 was placed on Van from Hand. Or at the beginning of your right phase, you can pay the cost to choose any, any circle other than Van, put all the cards on that circle into the drop zone. So this works to get rid of your own locked cards too. Countless one when this unit stride, when this unit, when a unit strides, sorry. Choose when your opponent's rear guards retire, look at seven cards, search an overlord, add to hand, and shuffle your deck. So that's still pretty good. I still feel like, I don't know if this is a good stride target for overlord, just because of the base and, you know, force markers are good. So, oh, big enough force marker overlords. Uh, Van, at the end of, this is a new card, Dragonic Overlord, the turnabout. This is a brand new card. At the end of the battle, this attack, you count plus one, discard two cards, stand all of your front row with Overlord in their name, and this unit gets drive minus one. After this attacks, you just stand your whole front row and this still gets a drive check. If your opponent's Vanguard is great through your greater, all your front row with Overlord get 10k. So you can do six attacks, which is really cool for V-Series Overlord. Excuse me. Yeah, that's definitely a turn of a turn of events for sure. Really good V-Series card. Um, don't know if I'll make Overlord better, but yeah, haven't been following V-Series Overlord. We got Dungeon Valor. Blaze for Vanguard skill. Helps out have a, a Vanguard with the Blaze ability. When placed, kind of lost one, turn up face down G and face up. Choose when your opponent's rear guards retire it, and it gets 15k for each Sentinel in your drop zone. So it's like how the old Dungeon was a Sentinel. Uh, once per turn, when your opponent's Sentinel or G-Guardian is placed, you may stand this blazing unit and it gets drive minus one. This works when it attacks, and then if your opponent has the Sentinel during a battle that your rear guard attacks, you can still restand this with drive minus one, which is really, really, really cool and really good, honestly, especially since Sentinel or G-Guardian. So you're basically almost guaranteed to stand this pretty much most turns, so it's a really good G unit to go into, especially if you want five drive checks. Denial Griffin, best, honestly one of the best G-Guardians in this game. It's when it's placed, you count plus one, you choose one of your opponent's rear guards, attacking rear guards, and you retire it. So whatever rear guard your opponent is swinging at you with, you kill it. It's just dead. So that's how you get rid of, uh, <laughs> of wise men. If we're gonna talk about how to get rid of wise men during the battle phase, so that's how you do it. You Denial Griffin, it's dead, gone. Adios. This looks like Nova Grappler. It is. Energy Girl. Energy Girl skill. At the end of the battle, this boosted. You choose one of your other rear guards and you stand it and you put this back in your deck. This card is Bare Knuckle Arnest. You can retire this unit for GB1, choose one of your rear guards, stand it. Then you can early game, Soul Boss 1, rest this, and choose another rear guard and rest it. And when it's placed on rear, you pay that cost and you draw a card. So it's like a street bouncer, except not um, uh, not same column. You can just place it, rest something else anywhere else, and then you can draw a card. So it's a, it's kind of a better street bouncer, but it's also kind of worse because it costs a Soul Blast, which kind of sucks. You know, street bouncer was a cool card. I like street bouncer. We have Extreme Battler, Kosachi. Uh, if you have Vanguard Victor, this gets continuous resist and uh, once per turn, rear 
uh, when this attacks, you may pay the uh, when this unit attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do choose one of your other rear guard and then stand it, so you can do that early game, which is nice. You don't need a GB1. And the GB2 is when the stand do the effect of your cards rush, it gets 7k, so it becomes a 16k beater. And then we got the best grade 3 victor ever. Zubat Battler Victor. Uh, when your units stride, you can draw a card, choose a card, for, choose up to one card from your hand, call it, and then choose one of your units and it gets, when it attacks, choose one of your rear guards and stand it once per turn. So you can even choose your vanguard for that too. The end of your turn, if the number of face up cards in your damage zone is one or less, counter charge. If the number of cards in your soul is one or less, soul charge. And if you did both, you draw a card. Gundreed. Um, you flip a G guard from your G zone face up and you choose one of your vanguards and it gets at the end of the battle that this unit was attacked you and it did not hit, you get to counter charge. So if it's a simple shield and you need that counter charge, go ahead and go for it. Favorite champ, Victor. Good one of. Uh, GB2, counter blast one. Choose a card from your hand, discard it. At the end of the battle, this attack, you pay the cost. Choose up to the same number of your rear guards. Keep a face up card in your G zone and stand them. You stand three or more. Uh, you choose three cards from your hand and discard them. So you're going to be discarding a total of four cards. And if you discard a three, you counter charge and you stand this with drive minus two. And this is not once per turn. So if you have eight cards in hand and enough counter blasts, you can just keep keep going. Meteor Kaiser, Dog and Titan, Dog and Titan, something like that. Uh, number of your rear guards listing your opponents gets 10k shield, really, really good. And this also has the Aqua Force skill of uh, Soul Blast, turn this face down, choose a card that's face down and turn it face up. So either counter charging or unlocking a lock card. So those are all really good reprints too. Um, nothing really questionable there, honestly, at all for cards to bring back for Nova Grappler Premium. Ooh, Operator Girl Linka. Linka's skill is Burst. So Burst is if your Vanguard's at 20k or greater, uh, draw a card, put this in your soul. If your Vanguard's 35k or greater, choose one of your Vanguard's with the Burst ability, and until the end of turn it gets uh, auto Soul Blast 1. When your Drive Check reveals a grade 3 Soul Blast, choose a Sentinel in your opponent's Guard Circle and it loses the effect of cannot be hit. So that's nullified. So nullifies PGs for a Soul Blast if you use this for its burst cost. So it's a really good card. So it's like the Great Dykeiser, Super Dimensional Rosal Dykeiser, but you know, you don't have to break right. Wow, Nimmin Kong, that's a really good PG. Um, has a regular skill of the PG, except it has to be from hand. So when placed on guard from hand, discard a card, a uh, unit can't be hit. Drop zone, burst. Count plus one, Soul Blast one. At the end of the battle that your Vanguard with the burst ability attack, if that unit is 40K or greater, you may pay the cost if you do return this to your hand, and if it's 45 or greater, you get to counter charge. So it's really good that you get to bounce some PGs back into your hand. We've got Die Jet. Die Jet is uh, act once per turn. You choose a D Robo from your drop from the bottom of your deck, and a unit. You choose your Vanguard, and it gets 4K. And then when this unit's, and you give your Vanguard the auto counter blast one, when it hits, you get to draw a card. So that's really good for um, cards. That was back when you had like 99th dimensional robo die something die earth die earth um you put a grade three in the bottom and you can search it back out grand gallop um burst if your rear guard circle gb3 if your vanguard attack when your vanguard attacks if it's 30k uh this gets 4k and if your vanguard 60k this gets a crit um at the beginning of your ride phase of the number of cards in your hands two or less you can strike for free van when your genus strike you can blast you can give your van 4k and then if it has the burst ability you then pay the cost kind of plus one you can give it another 4k G05. Soul Blast 1. Uh, Soul Blast a card of 5 period greater power. It's just really funny that that's a thing. It's just funny. Uh, this unit gets 5. Uh, this unit, sorry. When this place on guard circle, this unit gets 10k. And then if uh, card is from your demo zone this turn, it gets another 5k. So potential 15k shield. X Gallop. Bravest Peak X Gallop. Uh, then once per turn, counter blast, choose a face on card from zone, turn face up. When this attacks, this unit is 40k or greater. Um, it gets drive plus one. And then at the end of the battle, this unit, if it's 80k or greater, sorry, you get to restand it at the end of the battle with drive minus four. This unit gets 10k for each face of card in zone, so it stacks later in the game as it goes on. Atlantis Dolphin. Uh, this flips over G Guardians. Uh, when you play it on guard, flip a G Guard. Um, during the battle, your Vanguard attack. So your opponent's Vanguard attack. So it has to be only when your opponent's Vanguard attacking. This gets 5k uh, for each of your rear guards. This uh, gets 5k for each of your rear guards, and if it's 30k or greater, counter charge, soul charge. So getting some resources back is always nice. And there's Linka again. Nubatama. 
is up next. We got Doruma Collapse. Retire this. When any player's units stand to the effect of a card during your turn, so like Dominate, you pay the cost. Retire this. Choose any number of player's units to St. Claus this. It gets 2k and choose and if you chose one or more cards draw a card there's any number of units in the same clauses and they get 2k so if you have this uh one of your units and two of your opponent's units and you dominate their column you're giving those dominant units more power so it makes it easier for them to hit your opponent's vanguard um your unit gets power and you also get to draw cards so it's not bad stealth rogue of night frog miyabi so this also makes your opponent discard cards so it's so good for premium especially for rene when this unit attacks a vanguard this is boosted you may pay the cost if you do this gets 3k and if the number of cards in your in your hand is less than in your opponent's Choose a random card for your opponent's hand, they bind it, and then at the end of the turn they get the bound card back. Shirinui, the original one with the original art. Count last one, when your GN stride, uh, you choose from your opponent's rear guards and you bind it. Your opponent chooses a card from their hand and they discard it. The bound card goes back to the hand at the end of the turn. GB2 is when it's attacks. If the number card in your hand is less than your opponent's, uh, this gets 5k and crit. This is when after image was the main keyword for Shirinui. Back to image wasn't that good because it only worked up until you had the fourth card in your hand or something like that or the sixth card in your hand worded very weird but here we go back to dominate rene really really good g unit for nubatama dominate once per turn count plus one choose a face down card the same name as this turn face up your opponent chooses two cards from their hand and calls them the separate rear. They get 5k and you dominate them and they attack your opponent's vanguard at the same time. So that's nice. And then the, the auto abilities don't activate. And as well, continuous GB3, all dominated units get 15k, oh sorry, 10k in a crit. 15 would have been a lot. I'm thinking the five because of its first skill. So the 10k in a crit plus the five from the dominated the act ability would be 15k and a crit additional to the dominated units. It's really 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 good especially because your opponent loses two cards as well uh evil eye hades emperor shiwanui mukuro mukuro my bad mukuro mukuro dominate act once per turn gb2 soul blast 2 choose a face down card from judo and turn face up and you choose a card from your hand discard it you stand you and dominate your opponent's vanguard and it attacks and um it battles all your opponent's rear guards so this is also really good because you get your opponent's twin drive so that means you clear your opponent's board and you get two more cards and two more drive checks so it's nice so mujin lord is act once per turn you kind of lost one you choose a face down card with the same name as mujin lord and you choose any number of your opponent's rear guards equal to the number of face up card in your g zone so they get 4k and they're dominated and they attack your opponent's vanguard at the same time so that's a lot of multi-attacking Geobrakan at uh, count plus one, so plus one, you dominate one of your opponent's grade one units in the back row, and you call it to your guard circle, so you get to steal their units. That's it for Nubatama. Cold Magnum, you put this on the bottom of your deck. Uh, when it's put in the drop zone from being retired, basically, you draw a card, choose one of your units, get 5k. So it's really good with Dogma at the time when this card first came out. Sonic Noah, uh, when it boosts, you put the top card of your deck into the boost unit, it's an equip gauge. When it's attack that it boosted hits, uh, the attack or the attack it boosted hits, retire another rear guard and draw a card. So that's really good for Van Circle too. Turbo Smilodon, uh, when placed Van or rear, when it, or when it attacks a Vanguard, you put the top card of your deck into it as an equip gauge on the unit. Gaia Emperor Engorged Van or rear. Uh, GB2, if this unit is engorged, this unit gets 5k in a crit, only Vanguard Circle. Stride, kind of lost one. Pay the cost, uh, choose two cards from your hand, choose up to two cards from your hand, call them a separate rear, and you choose up to two of your rear guards and they get auto when this is retired. Uh, when it's sent to drop zone from your rear, you get to call them back. So after it's retired, you call them back, which is really cool. Gaia Dynast, Engorge, GB3, when your rear guard is retired by this unit, canvas one, call it back and it gets 3k. You can choose a Gaia Dynast in your G zone turn face up and when this becomes Engorge, you can choose one of your rear guards and retire all the rear guards in that same column to counter charge. So blowing up your opponent's board too, because it's all the rear guards in that column. So including your opponents. Dogma! Remember, Dogma backwards is Am God. An absolute ruler, Am God. He is God. And Gorge, GB2, choose face down. Uh, dogma turn face up when it becomes engorge if the number retired during for this effect is three uh you get a 10k 
and then once per turn, think about the stack those five cards that was retired. You can restand it gets drive minus one. So five drive checks. This card was so good. Gluttony Dolphin was such a great card when it first came out. Blockade, Ganga, Ganga. Choose one of your rear guards, retire it when it's placed on guard. Uh, it gets 10k shield, and then you can choose two up to two of your rear guards, and they get when this is retired, return this card to your hand. So that's really helpful if your opponent's just gonna like retire some stuff, like attack swing at your your rear guards, that you can just put them back in your hand. That's it for Tachikaze. Going on to the rest of this set. Murakumo. Uh, this card, GB1, it's you put it back in your deck, you choose a copy, and you pull two clones out of the deck, and at the end of the turn, the clones go back. Stealth Rogue of Concealment Tanba. Shadow Stitch. Uh, rear guard, choose a normal unit from your drop, put it on the bottom of your deck. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked a Vanguard. If it did not hit, you may pay the cost. If you do, this unit gets 3k. So it's stacked, so every time, uh, your unit doesn't hit, this gets, uh, this gets power. Stealth Dragon, Dual Weapon, Shadow Stitch. Uh, retire this at the end of that this unit attacked a Vanguard. If it did not hit, you retire it. Choose a Grade 1 or Grade 3 Rear Guard. Search your deck for one card of the same name and call it. And at the end of the turn, put the unit the called effect back in the bottom of your deck. So you can either call this thing or um, another Shadow Stitch Grade 3, probably Yasui. Or this thing, um, Spark. Shadow Stitch, Van, at the end of the battle, this unit attacked a Vanguard. Uh, if it didn't hit, you choose a three rear guard search your deck for the one card the same name as each. Call in the rear, and at the end of the battle, those units called, they go back to your hand, so then go back to the bottom of your deck. Um, really good for setting up for turns, but also really good for just beating your opponent down if you just need a bunch of attacks that they're at five damage. When your drive check reveals a card with the same name as a unit on your van or rear, you may put the reveal card to the bottom of your deck, and if you do, you draw a card, choose one of the units, gets 4k. So that's really good because it works on rear guard circle too. Yasui Genma, uh, Van, Act, Soul Blast 1, choose the same thing as Genma, turn face up, choose a card on your rear drop, search for one card, the same name as that card, and call it. And until the end of turn, return, and at the end of turn, return that unit to your hand. Shadow Stitch Van, GB3, the end of that this unit attacked a Vanguard, if it didn't hit, choose it to 5 of your units, and they get 5k and a crit. Really good late game card, really good. And G Guard. Uh, when this is placed on guard circle during your battle, your vanguard was attacked by your opponent's vanguard. Choose up to one of your rear guards, move it to the guard circle, it gets 5k. And then search your deck for the one card the same name as the call unit, called the guard. So that's really good because raid ones have 5k shield, or 10k shield in V series. So this is this card also got a buff. So that was it for Rakumo. What do we got? Narukami, Vivian, Dragon Dancer Vivian. Well, okay. Auto, what GB1, put the unit on the top of your deck. When your opponent's rear guard is put into the drop zone due to an effect from the cards, put it back in your deck, shuffle, draw a card, and counter charge. Really simple card, but stand triggers are good. The good Anastasia PG, this is the Thunderstrike one. Uh, when this is placed on guard from your hand, you pick a unit and it's PG'd, you have to discard a card. Thunderstrike 4, uh, when this is retired, you draw cards. You get your cost back after your PG, which is really nice. So I still think Anastasia is a really good PG for Thunderstrike-focused um, Narukami decks. We got Cho'o, the V-series one. When plays, count plus one, choose a column, find one of your opponent's rear guard in the front row of that column, and move the back one up to the front row. Rear, once return at the end of battle, your vanguard attacked. If your opponent's front row has no rear guards, you count plus and restand this. So this is really good, considering uh, we got Excel markers for um, Narukami, so you can put this on Excel and restand it. Just a good front row card in general. Dragonic Vanquisher Sparking. This was a really great card for Vanquisher because Vanquisher was really struggling for a long time. Thunderstrike 4. At the beginning of your right phase, counter charge or soul charge, your opponent chooses a card from their drop zone and binds it. So it helps with filling up Thunderstrike. When it's dry, when your genius dries, counter plus 1. Uh, your opponent chooses a card from the drop zone, binds it, and then if the unit that's destroyed has a Thunderstrike ability, you choose the your opponent chooses a rear guard and retires it, then binds it. So it could bind to if you strike into a Thunderstrike card. Mystic Wisdom Creation Brahma. Um, choose two cards with different grades in your drop zone and bind them face up. When this is placed on the guard circle, you bind the two cards face up, gets 10k shield. So this is uh, just straight up dungaree support, just letting you all know. 
That's literally what this card is. V Max. Uh, GB3, Thunderstrike 5. Count last two at the end of the battle, this unit attacked the Vanguard. If your opponent has no rear guards, you pay the cost and you deal a damage to your opponent. This doesn't have to be when they're at four or less. So if your opponent's at five and has no board, you go into V Max and then boom, you win. Deal them the damage. Uh, other skills when this attacks a Vanguard, you choose one of your opponent's rear guards. Uh, for each face up Vanquisher in your G zone, and it battles both the Vanguard and the units chosen in one attack. So it's like a like a brawler. It's got that, that big, big bang knuckle buster energy. We got Bulwark Dragon. Uh, Thunderstrike 3, this gets 10k shield. And then when this is retired from Guard Circle, you pick uh, for every four cards in your opponent's bind zone, you choose a rest card in your opponent's front row and you retire it. And that's it from the Narukami one. So next up is Shadow Paladin. Cursed Eye Raven, really good card for uh, Luard, a long time ago, and Claret Sword, honestly. Uh, act, GB1, rest this. You put this into your deck, shuffle, and look at two cards from the top of your deck, and you search up the two cards, call them to separate rears, rest, and the rest go to the bottom of your deck. And at the end of the turn, the unit, the units that you call through this effect have to be retired. So hopefully you are going to retire those cards that you call, but basically the point of Curse Eye Raven was you called it. Uh, I forgot the name of the grade two, but there's a grade two for Shadow Paladin, or, and a grade one, that was when you called a grade one or less, it gets 3k power, so you call Curse Eye, 3k, rest it, put it back into your deck, call two cards as rest if they're a grade one or less, more power to that grade two. I forgot its name. I think it started with a G. But you just did that over and over and over, put triggers back into your deck, pulled the, tr the non-triggers out. Or you would call out Belial Owl for those plays as well. Belial Owl is drop zone, ritual three. At the end of your turn, if you have a Vanguard Luar in its name, you put this back in the bottom of your deck. And then once it's retired by the effect of your card, if you have a Luard Vanguard, you get to draw a card. So it's a trigger that went back into your deck, and if it was retired by cost, you drew a card. Ooh, more Luard support. Uh, same as the other PGs, um, when this is placed from hand, you pick a unit uh, and can't be hit by the end of battle, and then you have to choose a card from your hand. Oh, it only works when your Vanguard's being attacked. So if it's placed from hand, your Vanguard's being attacked, discard a card cannot be hit. Drop zone, ritual three. You choose one of your rear guards retire it, and you choose another Eris for your drop zone, and you put it on the bottom of your deck, you put this back in your hand. So you get the PG back in deck, you get the PG back in your hand, and you retire a card. So if you retired Beelid Owl, you also get to draw a card. So good combos going on there. Phantom Blaster Dragon, the break ride. This was a weird choice, personally. I don't know why this came back, but maybe we'll see in the future. Limit Break 4, when a Shadow Paladin rides this, you Soul Blast 3 and you choose a Vanguard, it gets 10k, and choose three of your rear guards and retire them for cost. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, you draw two cards, choose three uh, cards from your damage zone, turn them face up. Uh, your opponent cannot call grade one or greater cards. So this was back when Sentinels were grade one, so this was really good. Now I'm not so sure what the point of this is, especially since it's Break Ride. We'll see, There's maybe there'll be something that has to do with that later, but the other skill is choose when your readers retire. When this is placed, you search your deck for a blaster and add it to your hand. So that can be your stride fodder when you ride. So you ride it, search for another blaster grade three, and then you can stride. Drag fall, Luard. Ritual X. So this is based on the number of uh, grade ones in your drop zone. Choose a new menu unit from your drop zone, put it on the bottom of your deck. This cost reduced for every, uh, this reduces the count bus for every grade one in your drop zone. So you can stride or ultimate stride. So it's count bus four, to ultimate stride or stride, and then it can be reduced in cost for each grade one in your drop zone, so potentially being free. When your unit stride, uh, count plus one, search your deck for up to one grade one lower card, and if the unit that's called as the ritual ability, choose one of your opponent's rear guards in the same column and retire it. So it's, it doesn't let you call two things like Luard did, but uh, you don't have to retire something, which is nice. Drag Principal, or Fessa. It's a really good card for premium when, when this card first dropped. Uh, once per turn, count plus one, turn a face down card, new G zone face up, and retire two rear guards. Draw two cards, and until the end of the turn, you regard trigger units in your drop zone as grade one. Ritual 10. All your front row gets 15k and a crit. When your opponent would call a card from the hand, they must call two or more at the same time. This card is insanely good. Insanely good for Shadow Power. I highly recommend you guys get hold of it like four of these if you can. Plotmaker is another really good card. 
Ritual 3 gets 10k shield. Uh, it's just good because it's free. You're almost always going to get off Ritual 3, so plot maker. Easiest G guard to pull off. We got Royal Paladin. We got Encourage Angel, which is GB1. When this is placed, you choose two units, they get 3k, and this goes back in your deck. So good uh, good little booster and good stands back in your deck. Floral Paladin Flogel. This used to be one of the most expensive triggers you would acquire. It was only a common, too. Now they got in that nice triple R flowing. I love it. At the end of the battle that your unit named Blaster Blade attacked a Vanguard, you count less one, and if you do, you choose one of your units named Blaster Blade, stand it, and you return this to your deck and you shuffle. I think there was a misprint with the original where it didn't have the cost of the counter blast. So that might have been the case, I'm not sure, but no, this one's got the right printing. Yeah, everything about this looks correct. So yeah, basically every time your blaster blade re uh, swings, you uh, counter blast one, put Flogel back in the deck, and you restand blaster blade for another attack. And now that you got force markers to stack on top of it, it's gonna be a really big beat stick swinging over and over and over just based on how many Flogels you got. Swordsman of Light, Blaster Javelin, LaRouche. Uh, choose two cards from your hand, put them in your soul. When this is placed, if you have a Vanguard with Alfred, you search your deck for two High Beasts and call them a separate rear. Two High Beasts. High Beasts. So good. Search, search out Flogels. Um, so yeah, in Alfred Vanguard, you can go into the Alfred G unit and meet the cost and it's really easy. Favorite Pupil of Light and Dark, Lou. When this is boosted by Blaster Friend Barkle or Flora Paladin Flogel, this gets 3k and kind of bless one, put this unit into your soul. At the end of this attack to Vanguard, you can search for a grade two card with Blaster in its name, call it to rear, and it gets 3k. So you can either search Blaster Blade directly after uh, Flogel boosts it, or you can search LaRouche, and then LaRouche will search you two more Flogels, and then you can have another rear guard blaster swinging additional times after this Lou swung. So that's how you can get like your three uh, Flogels in your back row with this uh, Lou combo. Anyways, King of Knights, Alfred. This was a really, really, really weird reprint. Why this Alfred when the V-Series Alfred is way better in my opinion? It's Counter Blast 3, search for a grade two and call it. Grade two or less, call it. You're always gonna stride over it, and it can't be boosted. I just don't understand why this was the chosen reprint. Maybe I would have chosen Blaster Friend Barkle, since it was part with Lou and Flogel. I feel like that would have been the better reprint. Personal opinion, Bishiro, just saying. Really good reprint here. Holy Divine Knight, Gancelot, Peace Saver. Gancelot, I love Gancelot. When this attacks, if you have a heart with Blaster or Alfred, you counter charge, and this gets a drive check. And if you have a face of Carnage G-Zone, this gets a crit. Uh, G-Zone, during your turn, if this is face up, all of your regards of Blaster Blade get resist. So your Blaster Blades cannot be Nile Griffin uh, during your turn. Mask all. Uh, choose a face down G guard. G, yeah, G guard and turn to face up. Uh, if there's a rigor in your front row, this gets 10k. So that's really good just to fill up for GB8. Um, but also just a G guard for Royals, it gets 10k. So that's it for Royal Paladin. I feel like we still got like 10 more packs. We got OTT. GB1, Soul Bless 1 at the end of the battle. This boosted. Pay the cost, draw a card, turn this to your deck. So simple, like Soul Bless 1, draw. Put trigger back. Psychic Bird, put this in your soul and draw. Old, one of the oldest cards in the game, honestly. A grade one PG. That's another thing. They could have reprinted the Alfred PG, the Alfred Blaster PG, kind of like how they did with the rest of these. But I don't know why they reprinted Alfred. It's weird. I feel like Lake Mean and Lee, uh, like the Lian PG would have been a good choice. When this is placed on guard from hand, discard a card, pick a unit, can't be hit. Drop zone Oracle 1, kind of lost 1 at the end of battle that. At the end of your turn, you can return this to your hand and choose a random card from your hand. Choose a card at random from your hand and bind it face down. Hmm. Yeah, well, I guess that's what it does. I just forgot what it did. Cone Magus. Uh, new Magus support makes this card a lot, a lot better. When this is placed on Vanner Rear, declare a card name, reveal the top card deck. If the, real, if the revealed card is the name you declared, you counter charge too. So there's lots of ways to check the top card of your deck. So you know, you just play this and then easy peasy. Susanna, oh. GB2 Oracle at the beginning, sorry, beginning of your ride phase of the top card of your deck. 
and put that card to the top or bottom. So like I said, I don't know if you really want to be running on Susano is your main grade three though. I feel like Promise uh, Imperial Dot is better. Beginning rough is if you have face up card Armatras or Wakarume, Waka Waka Hirume, sorry. Uh, Soul Charge one, Soul Blast two for stride cost, and you draw a card. Each Kashima, the old one. Count plus one, soul plus one. Choose a face down card the same as this. Turn face up. Draw two cards once per turn. Oracle GB3. Choose a face down card from your G zone. Turn it face up. And your opponent cannot call grade zeros or G guardians from. Cannot call G guardians and grade zeros from hand to guard circle. So they can't call G guards and they can't call grade zeros from hand. So they had to PG basically. Such a such an LP card. So good. So so good. Son of Eternity, Amaterasu, G unit. When this is placed on guard, if the number of cards in your hand is four or more, it gets 10k shield. And it's placed on guard, soul charge one. Look at the top card of your deck on the top or bottom of your deck. So you can kind of set up for the triggers if you want to know where your next damage is going to be. Uh, we got Angel Feather next. So Surgery Angel, Kamos one. Uh, after this boost, you put it back in your deck. Choose a card in your damage, heal it, deal a damage to your Vanguard for rescue. Uh, you're gonna heal the card you counterblast for its cost, so it's almost free, but you get a rescue check. But I'll keep it no seal. Um, when it's put on guard circle, choose a card from your damage zone, put it in your hand, and then um, put a hand, card from your hand back in your damage zone. So you do a hand swap, and then effects happen during your opponent's turn. Love Machine Gun No Seal. Uh, same thing as uh, Battle Keep It No Seal, except it's when it's placed on rear guard circle. So that's a really good card to do as well with that because it's early game. This was also a triple R, I think, um, when this was first printed, which is funny. Black Ref Relief Aratron. 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 GB1 when your card is put into your drop zone for your damage zone due to effect. Um, with a re if you the effect of a rescue ability, you can pay the cost and call the card that was put into the drop zone to rear in the same column as this unit. So building a board. Black Shiver Godreal, the first one. GB2, when a card is put into your damage, uh, 2k. Yeah, Defen works defensively, so power goes up every time you take a damage. When you do a strike, you count plus one, you look at three cards, pick one, put in your damage, the rest go to the bottom. And then you choose a card from your damage and call it to rear, and it gets 2k. And Godreal Eden, uh, Godreal Eden skills act once per turn, so plus one, choose a card from the same name as this, turn it face up. Um, choose a card from your damage zone, heal it, and choose one of your vanguards and deal it damage. So it's rescue one. When you see it attacks, choose the same number of cards, your same number of cards from your damage zones as the number of face of card in your G zone, and call in a separate rear. They get 3k, and put the same number of cards on the top of your deck into your damage face down. So if you have like 3 damage, you can call 3. Um, or if you have three face-up G units, I should say, you can call three and then put the same number of cards into your damage zone face down. Holy Seraph Serial, so Serial Skill, Rescue 1, Counterblast, uh, when it's put some guard circle, you basically heal, a, you Counterblast, you heal a card, do yourself a damage, and if you get a trigger, your Vanguard gets more power. And then we got Lizbeth. I'm pretty sure Lizbeth is still hit to one, so this is really funny that it's got reprinted. Bloom, when your other Lizbeth is placed, you choose up to five Lizbeth, and they get cost zero, act. Choose a normal unit from your drop zone, and if you choose a card, choose up to four cards with the same name as that unit from your drop zone, return it to your deck, you return this to your deck, and you draw a card. So this helps you recycle cards. Um, I feel like the reason this was hit the one is because there's a card that changes the name of cards to match, so you pick this card and another card and they share names and now suddenly you have two Lizbeths. So there's that. Um, but I don't know what it has to do with when it's placed because it went on place, but I don't remember why Lizbeth needed to be hit to one. Loga, really good PG. Bloom, Generation Break 1, Count Bus 1. When your other Loga is placed, you pay the cost. If you do, you choose up to five Maiden Logas and you return them to your hand. The other skill is just PG skill and place on guard from hand, choose a unit, choose one of your vanguards that's being attacked and it can't be hit. So Lugo was a really good PG. Gladiolus, this was good in Katrina Premium. When this attacks a vanguard, if it's boosted, you choose one of your rear guards and you clone it, so more multi-attacking. 
Pansy Musketeer Sylvia, also good in Katrina. When placed, you call a plant token. Searing Heart Asha, which was a weird pick, but I guess it's because it's generic, and Blue Heart Asha is Bloom specific. Bloom, GB2, and the other units in the same card name as this unit is placed. Uh, Countered Soul Charge, so that's for if you call another Asha. At the, at the end of each turn, choose a card from your hand and you call it. Yeah, so you can set up for Bloom. Van, Count Plus 1, Soul Plus 1, when you do it stride, you choose one of your regrets, search for a copy of it, and the same, yeah, copy of that card, and it gets boost. Then we have Vilhelmina. Vilhelmina is, um, when it's attacks, you choose a face down G guard, turn face up, Count Plus 1, choose two or great, choose up to two grade two or less cards with Bloom ability with the same names from your deck, search it out, call them, and call them to separate rears on the front and back row. Yeah, so you could call it to a column, basically, if you wanted to do that. Um, all your rear guards get 5k in a crit. So all your rear guards in the front get 5k in a crit because it's GB4, so it's a lot of pressure, especially if you're going to play a Force clan. So if you're playing Force 1, you have to worry, you basically can get the crits as well. Antero, the G guard. It's Soul Blast 1, unless it's placed. Until the end of battle, this gets 5k, and then if the number of your rear guards is one or less, or four or more, it's 15k. So if you have a whole board, 15k. If you don't got a board, 5k. It's a really good balance for that G guard. We got Monochrome Nightmare Land. Act, put this into your deck. You saw a charge one, and there were cards in, there were cards in your soul. Six or more, you counter charge, and if the number is 10 or more, you draw a card. So you can draw into another Monochrome and do it again. Yellow Bolt, old card. Rest this if you have a DI Vanguard Soul Charge 1. So really good for NLK in the past. Also another gold card, BT12 card, Dimension Creeper. Uh, when this is put into your drop zone, if you have a DI Vanguard, Soul Charge 2. So still really good. Sharkrot Vampyr. GB2, if this number of cards in your soul is 6 or more, it gets 10k. And if it's 10 or more, it gets a crit. Mm, doesn't really matter. When your G units drive, you soul charge two, choose one of your vanguards, and it gets, when this attacks a vanguard, if the number of cards in your soul is six or more, you choose one of your opponent's regards, and they retire it. Bladder Mouse. GB2, Darkness. You choose a card, choose a face down card, the same name as this unit, turn face up, choose two cards from your hand, and you put them into your soul. When this attacks, you pay that cost, and if the number of cards in your soul is ten or more, you return all your grade zeros from your... Turn all grade zero cards from your rear and soul to your deck. Shuffle your deck. You choose two of your units and they get 5k. And at the end of the battle, you stand this and it gets drive minus two. So putting the triggers back into your deck is obviously really good. Then we got Gastiel Diamonis, because Bushy said we don't really care about DI's power creep. When a card is put into your soul, all of your front row gets plus 3k. So good. Uh, count plus one, you turn a G card in your G zone face up, search your deck for two cards, put them in your soul, and this unit gets all the abilities the cards put in your soul by this effect. So you can pick an LK and another card, and then on top of that, every time you um, put a card in your soul, your front row gets 3k. Uh, Acrobat uh, ma Malat, um, when it's placed on guard circle, soul charge two, and if the number of cards in your soul is six or more, it gets 5k shield. So this is also good for uh, Blade Wings. We got the ghosties back. We got Mick the ghostie and family. Because family. <laughs> should call him Dom the ghostie. And this unit is placed on rear from your drop zone. Sorry, I can't instill not over that joke. If this unit is hollow, choose one of your other units. It gets 10k. And this unit gets when this is put in the drop zone from rear. Turn us to your deck and shuffle. So that's really good. Get a trigger back. Grenache. Uh, basically, it's a forerunner. And when this is hollow, GB1, uh, you kind of charge too when you, you know, put in your drop zone. Samurai Spirit. Um, oh, it's a V card. So this is this is for V series. So you can run this in a V deck. Um, drop zone. Soul Blast 1, retire one of your other rear guards. Um, that's not Samurai Spirit. Call this to rear from drop and it gets 4k. Not bad, not bad. If you want to fill your board and get a, like a 12k booster. Skeleton Cannoneer. This was how you're able to pseudo denial Griffin. Um, when this is placed from your drop zone, you count blast one, 
choose one of your opponent's rear guards and you retire it. And then if it's hollowed, you can draw a card. We got Night Storm, Captain Mighty Rogue Night Storm, hollow. Rear, GB1, at the end of the battle, this unit attacked the Vanguard. If, it, if this unit is hollowed, you can count us one. Choose one card not named Night Storm, this card, and call it to rear. So it's basically you just call something to a different uh, circle than the one this attacked on. So then we got Big Obadiah. Big Obadiah is combo one. Choose a G unit, turn it face up. Search your deck for up to five cards, put them in your drop zone, and you call it the two cards to rear. For each face of card in your D zone, it gets five days. So it's good first stride, it's good late game for calling a mass amount of board. Then we got Negro Lily, combo one. Choose one of your rear guards, retire it. When this is placed on guard circle, you choose up to one normal unit with Ghost in the same for your drop zone, call it to rear, and you see it gets. 10k shield. So Ghosty's got really good support for premium um, with that uh, the main grade 3 that has all that Ghosty support. I forgot the, the card, but it's from V-Series. Towards the end of V-Series. So that was it for Grand Blue. Cool, next we got Pale Moon. Pale Moon is Prankster Girl Mirror Land. Uh, you put this on top of your deck. When it says put into your soul. When this thing is put in your soul, you put it back in your deck. Search for one card not named Mirror Land and put it into your soul. So it's a Guaranteed way to get certain cards looking for, probably like Nightmare Doll Alice. Purple Trapezius, when this is placed, you choose a rear guard, put in your soul, and pull out a different rear guard. So, multi attacking, stuff like that. Flying Periton. Um, Magia, when this is put into your, when this is placed on rear, soul charge one, choose one of your cards from your soul and call it to the rear insane column as this, and put the call unit back into your soul at the end of your turn. That's what Magia basically is. It's at the, at the end of your turn, all the cards called through Magia get put back in your soul. During your turn, oh, it's a V card. Uh, during your turn, if you called one or more cards from your soul, this gets 5k. So continuous, doesn't stack. When placed from hand, draw a card, put a card from your hand into your soul. Also a good way to put cards uh, that you want into your soul. Must Phantom Harry. You're a wizard, you're a Phantom Harry. <laughs> um, Van, Otto, GB2, Combust 1. When your rigor is put into your soul, you can put, pay the cost. Um, choose a grade three with the Magia ability from your soul and put it in your hand, so that's good defensively. This is placed on Van, you look at two cards at the top of your deck, pick one, put it in your soul, and put one to the bottom of your deck. When you stride, Magia, Soul Blast one, choose a card with the Magia ability from your soul and call it to rear, and at the end of that turn, put that in your soul, so you can call it Flying Parenting. Mass Masquerade Master Harry. Then, count last one, choose a face down card the same name as this from turn face up. Choose two cards in your other circles and put them into your soul. When this attacks, you do that. And if you do, choose three cards from your soul, call them to separate rear. And at the end of turn, you put them back into your soul. All your rear guards with the Magia get 3k for each face up Harry in your G zone. So that's really, really good. Uh, Kinesis Megatrick Colthard. Uh, you flip over a G unit, a G Guardian, and he gets 15k shield. If you're if there are cards of four or more different grades in your soul. Ah, I see. Okay. Nightmare Doll Alice would have been nice, like the V series one, but again, this is a revival collection, not a V series reprint. They'll probably do that later. So we got Bermuda Triangle. Dream Dreamer Dreamer Crook. If this is Harmony, uh, you basically at the end of the battle that it boosts, you bounce a rear guard and you put this back into your, uh, oh, you bounce a rear guard, call a card from your hand to rear, and then you put this back into your deck. When this is boosted, when it's a text of Vanguard, boosted, you count plus one, GB1, bounce a rear guard, uh, you call another card from your hand, and the call card gets 3k, so multi attacking. This is Rivier support, uh, Spirited Star Troyus, hand, count plus one, call this card to rear. Choose a card from your hand and return it to your deck. If your Vanguard is grade two or greater, you search your deck for a Rivier and ride it as Van, so it's basically kind of replacing your grade three ride. If you rode from a grade three unit, um, yeah, if you rode from a grade three unit, you choose a face you choose a uh, face down card with Rivier from your G zone and you strike it. So this way it's kind of like you didn't lose out on strike fodder, but you paid a counter blast. Um, Rear guard, soul blast one, when you're grade four, Rivier attacks, you soul blast one and you stand this, so more multi attacks. And uh, act, GB2, count blast two, choose a face on carving Jesus, turn face up. Choose any number of players' cards and you bounce them. 
This gets 5k for each card bounced, and if the number was 5 or more you draw, and if the number was 7 or more, that gets a drive check. So it's cards. So this works on locked cards too, so that's good to keep in mind. Legendary Idol Rivier. Callus 1, choose a face on card, same name, turn face up. Choose the same number you regret, same number Rivier in your soul. They get 5k, and if three or more are uh, three or more, if you have three or more face up cards in your G zone, you draw a card and this gets 10k in a crit. Yep. We got Toria Chocho -cho support. Yeah. Uh, you flip a card in your genome face up, and all your Chochos and their names get 5k for each of your open rear. At the end of the battle, it's unit attack. Choose up the three of your rear guards, put them in the bottom of your deck. And if you pick three cards, this stands gets drive minus two, so more Vanguard attacks. Highest Society, Citroen. This is placed on the guard circle. Choose a grade one or greater from your hand, call to rear, and if you called, this means it's 10k. I don't know if there's any combos with the current day V Bermuda Triangle stuff that makes that good. Probably. Probably really good. Oh, and that was it. That was it for Bermudas. Oh, we got Gear Chronicle. Steam Beller Erwitar. Uh, when, uh, when this is bound, GB1, you put it back into your deck. Um, you put it on the bottom of your deck, you draw two cards, and you pick a card from your hand, put it back in your deck, and you shuffle. A lot of filtering going on with that card. TikTok Worker, Forerunner, also Time Leap. Uh, at the end of the battle that your unit, uh, your rear guard attack, you put this in the soul and you Time Leap that unit. This was really good with Melum because you'd use Melum to search out Urwatar and then you would Time Leap Melum into History Maker Dragon. History Maker Dragon is uh, Time Leap. Uh, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, you can't bust one. Choose another rear guard and you Time Leap it. Chrono Jet Dragon G. Uh, for every card face up in your G zone, it's 5k. Or every two cards face up in the G zone, sorry, and your ZTBs get two, uh, 1k each, so if you have two face up, they get 1k. Time leap, when your G unit, when your gear dragon or ZTB G unit strides, you choose up the one card from your hand, you call it, and then you choose a rear guard and you time leap it. So this is cool, we have a foiled Chrono Jet Dragon G without the hot stamp, that looks kind of nice, that, that looks clean. Header around dragon, uh, soul boss one, when this is placed on guard, if you have a Chrono Jet Vanguard, uh, you choose one of your opponent's um, rear guard, so it can be the attacking one, they put it back in, your opponent puts it back in their deck, they shuffle their deck, and then they call a card from the top of their deck. So you can ruin their trigger stacks and stuff like that. Gear Groovy. Choose a face down Gear Groovy, turn it face up, and if you have a hard Chrono Jet, you pick two Gear Dragons uh, with auto abilities and you clone those auto abilities. And then GB3, Soul Plus 1, you choose a face down Chrono Jet G Zone, turn it face up. This gets 5k, so that can help with the GB2 as well if you want to clone another Gear Dragon. This is a new card, Bear Lock. Um, GB1, if you were to call this from face down, you can bind one or more rear guards with the sums being three or more. And when placed, this gets 5k for each bound card for the cost. So you can just bind your whole board and then get 15k shield if you want to. Oh, and you can combo this with Urvatar too. Dang, that's really good, even though Urvatar is a grade zero. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, at the end of your turn, you swing a melon, you leave out Urvatar, and you can bind it with the G guard, and draw cards during your opponent's turn. We got Mega Colony. Put this in your soul at the end of each turn. You can do that, counter charge, choose one of your opponent's grade one less cards, cannot stand. Machining, return this unit to your deck, GB1. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards, cannot stand. Pretty good cards. Dark Face Gridora. When this is placed, or when you do unit stride, you can bust one, choose a column your opponent cannot call to that column. And then GB1 at the end of the beginning of your right phase, you soul bust one. Your opponent chooses a card from the damage turn face down, you counter charge. Really, really big on the control with that card. Morphosian. When this is placed on guard, the number of your opponent's uh, standing rear guards is two or less, this gets 10k. Overwhelm. Uh, act. Choose a face down card for your G zone, turn face up. Draw up to the same number of cards as the number of your opponent's rested cards, rested rear guards. And if the number of your opponent's rested rear guards is one or less, you can get a crit and drive. So if you're not drawing a bunch of cards, you're getting a crit and a drive check. Really good. Dark Device, all your units get 2k for each face down card in your opponent's damage zone. So it works complementary with Gridora. Obterandus. Act, GB2, kind of lost two. Choose a card from your hand and discard it. Your opponent cannot call cards to the rear guard circle until the end of their next turn. So they just cannot build a board. So really good against Paladin decks. Um, Relish Lady, you flip a G guard face up. And if you do, your opponent chooses two of his or rear guards, and they must rest them. If they do not, you get to draw a card, counter charge, and soul charge. So that's also really good with uh, control. So now your opponent's like, ah, 
Do I really want to lose my boosters? Oh no. But do I also want them to draw a card and gain resources? That's something to think about. It's a good one of that would be. Great nature. Don't know why this card got retrained, but maybe one day we'll see. It's a GB1. It's Hamsquire. It's Pencil Square Hamscape, basically. Um, when you're in phase, when it's put in the drop zone, you can search for another copy of Protractor orang Orangutang, and you add it to your hand, and then you return this card to your deck. So you can put this one back in your deck, but you have to pull another stand back out. I don't know, maybe it's just so you can keep your hand, but I don't know if it's worth the kind of blast. Crayon Tiger, yes! Years later, he finally gets a reprint and has a triple R foiling. This card used to be like $30. Insane. Um, Grand Tiger skills, Count Blast 1, once per turn, when this attacks a Vanguard while boosted, you choose one of your other rearguard stand it gets 4k. And at the end of the turn, you draw a card and retire that unit. So you gain power, you get to draw a card, and you get to restand another rearguard. Such a good card. Talented Rhinos. This is really good in premium. Success 2000, or 20,000, sorry. GB1 at this unit is successful. This gets 4k, and your opponent cannot call grade zeros from their hand when it's attack. So, since PGs are also grade zeros, this is really, really, really good if your opponent runs grade zero PGs. So, this can be really helpful in those situations. Amazing Professor Big Belly, success to 20,000. When it's placed on Van, or when you're Gene at Stride, you can choose up to one card for your hand and call it to rear, and it gets 4k. If you call the card, and at the end of that turn, you draw a card, and you retire that rear guard that you called. Van or rear. At the end of all this unit attacked, if this unit is successful, you count plus one, choose one of your other rear guards, and stand it. It gets 4k. So it's like, uh, it's basically Crayon Tiger, except you don't get the, uh, the draw. Spangland. Uh... You count plus one, you choose a face down G guard, turn face up. And then if any number of your grade three or less, choose any number of your grade three or less guardians and they get when it's retired from guard circle, draw. So if you have a bunch of cards in your guard circle, um, you get to draw a card afterwards, which is really nice. Follow rule, uh, soul blast, choose a face down card from Jesus and turn face up. Choose all the units in your front row and until the end of the turn, they get auto. Once return, this unit attacks, hits a Vanguard, you draw a card, and 4k for each face of card in your D zone. At the end of the turn, retire those rear guards. So that's pretty good that you can just give on hit pressure to those units, and it's not even GB1 or GB restricted. So, Symbol Monkey, this is a new card. Uh, when placed, all your other units, all other units get minus five. Wow, that's really funny. Everything, everything gets minus five power. It's kind of like a worser, worser. Yes, I'm gonna say worse. I know the right word is worse, but I'm gonna say worser. Uh, I was already gonna forget the name of the card. Shiryuki. There we go. <laughs> but I don't know. I'll ask Atlas. Maybe he's gonna run it. The last clan is Spike Bros. Charge. So when this place on R do an effect, it becomes charged. GB1, at, uh, when this unit attacks or boosts, if this unit is charging, counter charge, soul charge, and this gets 3k. So it's a good 7k booster and it can char counter charge, soul charge. Mecha Trainer, Forerunner, and uh, kind of also want to retire this and you search for a good one of less Spike Bros card and you put it in your hand. You're probably going to search to PG or Frog Raider back in the day. Jelly Beans, reveal this card to your opponent and you put it in the bottom of your deck. If you have a Spike Bros Vanguard, you search deck for one grade two with Dudley in its name, and you put it into your hand. So Dudley support, really good with uh, v, v Dudley cards. We have the OG Rising Nova. Um, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, you search your deck for up to one card and call it to rear. So yeah, you enable charging effects. During your turn in June Stride, you choose one of your Vanguards and it gets Count of Boss 1, choose a card from your hand and put it into your soul. When this unit attacks a vanguard, you search your deck for up to one card, and you call it to an open rear, and that unit gets 5k. So it's like just searching out a card, but with Frog Raider, it was really good. Hellhard 8. The Hard 8. Um, GB8. 
When your unit attacks, choose one of your units and until the end she gets 10k. That's just any unit. And uh, choose this unit and a card from your hand and put them to your soul. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked or boosted. You may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to card and call to rear. Open rear. Insanely good card. Such a good GBA. Agrius. Uh, count boss one. Choose a face down card. Uh, same name as this. Turn face up when it attacks. You choose any number of your rear guards and bind them face up. And if you bound three or more, you draw. Uh, choose up to two cards from your bind zone and for each face up card in your G zone, and you call it to a separate art. So if you have one face up card, you call two. If you have like four, you call eight. You know, you know, you know, you get it. Even though it's separate open R, you know what I mean. King of Interference, Terrible Linus. GB1, flip a G guard face up. Choose one of your rear. Uh, if you do, choose one of your rear guards and you may put in your soul. This gets 10k. Uh, for every two of your open circles. That's a really good G-Guard. And we're back at the stand. All right. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this was the only SP that I pulled. I don't believe... I think it's only the G-Guardians that come SP for this set. So I'm just kind of looking through real quick to see if I find any other SP G-Guards. So this was, uh, this was fun. Thank you again, guys, for uh, sticking around for this unboxing. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Before the video ends, I want to say another really quick thank you to Serene and everyone else at the Butcher Road marketing team for reaching out to me and giving me a really cool opportunity to participate in Butcher Road's e-newsletter. It was cool. As well, I want to give a thank you to Triple Sleeve TCG for always working with me and for participating in a lot of these sponsorships for our videos. Don't forget to go check out their website for all of your Vanguard card needs. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.